one person. Where one person stands, that is known as soul. And proprietorship stands for ownership. Proprietorship word stands for ownership. So we can say sole proprietorship is a method of business, is a type of business organization where or which is managed, controlled, owned by single person and there is no profit sharing. You can say as a definition, sole proprietorship business is a type of business which is owned, controlled, managed by one person and who does not share profit with anyone. Okay. Here we have some characteristics, some features of sole proprietorship. We will talk about first capital. This capital for the sole proprietorship, the capital which is invested in business, that is always invested by only one person. Second, management and control. Sole proprietorship business, as we know with the name sole proprietor, so sole proprietorship business, the management and control is taken care by only one person, single person. The single person who manages, who controls it and who does all the activities of business. As in the definition, we said what is the definition? Sole proprietorship is a type of business which is managed, controlled and all the activities performed by a single person and who does not say profit in any way. So another type of Characteristic is profit sharing. In sole proprietorship business, the business owner does not share profit with anyone. He do not have to share profit with anyone in the business. And the most important, one of the most important characteristic is unlimited liability. In sole proprietorship business, the liability of sole proprietor is unlimited. Liability means the payability. Liability means payability or obligation to pay. In sole proprietor business, if the business person has taken any loan, any borrowing from business or any, uh, from third party or from any bank or from any financial institution, the total liability, the total obligation to pay is on the sole proprietorship or sole proprietor. If the assets of business does not sufficient or not sufficient for the settlement of debt, settlement of loan, the personal property of the sole proprietor will be attached to settle the loan amount. Means here we can say in the sole proprietor's business, the obligation means the liability of business does not the liability of business only but it becomes a personal liability for the sole proprietor. So it's one of the most important characteristic. It is always asked in the board question. That mean, what do you mean by sole proprietorship or what do you mean by the unlimited liability for the sole proprietor? And another thing, no legal formality or free of legal formalities. A sole proprietorship business is always free from legal formalities. If a proprietor, if a person wants to start the business, he can start the business without any legal formalities. Without any legal formalities. Or it has very less legal formality. And flexibility of office. One of the characteristics of sole proprietor is flexibility in operation. Means a sole proprietor is always free. He can operate the business as well his own business. He can run the business from 4 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock in the night. Not in this phenomena. Here we have government has restricted the time. But in case we are talking about general case, there is a flexibility in operation. Sole proprietor can start the business from early morning to late night or he can perform the business for one hour or he can close the business as it will be so he has flexibility in the operation and freedom of decision making a sole proprietor one of the best thing it is characteristic also and we will talk about the merit also freedom in decision making a sole proprietor is always free to make any decision regarding business so provide proprietor does not need to concern to ask with anyone 
as he has invested the, all the money from his side, he is managing all the activities. So he has the freedom of making decision regarding the business. And another thing, selection of trade, free selection of trade. Means which type of business a sole proprietor wants to do, he can do. He is willing to sell textile. He is willing to sell hardware. If he is willing to open computer shop, he is willing to open a brick field. He can do because he can select the trade of his own choice. He has the freedom of choosing the trade and trust the police. Here, sole proprietor also makes the personal relation with the consumer. As consumer has closer contact with the sole proprietor, so he can make his personal relation also. So these are the characteristics of a sole proprietor business.